first time going to become a conductor was five years old, and I have never seen a conductor before. I always knew that I'm going to be a conductor. At home, as a child, I used to put uh, on the young, on those uh, old long plays. Uh, we didn't have classical music at home, so I put the uh, long plays uh, with the music of Abba and Queen, and I came back to the And this is my very first conducting experience, six, seven, eight years old. And somehow, uh, the dream to become a conductor uh, became true, and I became a conductor. Uh, with the time, people started taking me seriously as a conductor, and later now, most of the people do not remember many from the time before in the conductor. What I wanted always is to be a conductor and to travel a lot in different cities, in different countries, working with different orchestras. With the time, I decided that uh, traveling a lot is something very funny and very interesting, but I want to have my orchestra where I can uh, work together with them because we grow up together in the music, working with people in growing not only as musicians, but musicians and human beings through music. We are here at the cemetery of St. Mark's in Vienna. That's the cemetery where Wolfgang Aulius Mozart was buried. Maestro Todorov did study in Vienna, and that means the way music is inherited here is, is the way he has learned to think and to interpret music. Vienna is known as the capital of music in the world. And when we speak about classical music, we think about Vienna. You did study here. Is there something which you kind of brought to Bulgaria, which you have inherited yourself from this study? Uh, during my study here, I got somehow, somehow, the feeling for classical music that when I did any concerts later all over the world, people said, you have something to do in Vienna, you started in Vienna or you live there, is it like that? The difficulty with music is at the same time to show the music the way it was meant by the composer, but at the same time to show it in a way that the people today understand it. The most difficult thing about being a conductor is uh, to get at the same time the original idea of the composer and the feeling that this is played today. What I learned here is an uh, interpreter. It means one should really understand the main idea, the idea of the composer. This is what I learned here. And this is one of the most difficult things to be learned. The idea of the composer. This is something very special that only there in very little places, special places in the world you can learn and Vienna is maybe the very first of them. Uh, in Bulgaria we are very emotional people uh, and if you listen to Slavic music you will see that Slavic nations are really very emotional and the structure of the music is for them somehow uh, something that stays behind. The most important is the, the emotion and Playing or conducting, uh, dealing with classical music on emotional level, it's very interesting, but actually it, it can lose a lot. Yeah. And this is what I learned here, how to structure my feelings, how to, uh, how to use them without letting them destroy the music. And in Vienna you can learn how to use this emotion, how to direct it. Of course, without emotion there is no music. But without understanding, there is no music either. Myself, I'm also very emotional, and I had that problem during my time in Vienna as a student. I had some of my professors who always talk to me that I had to sit down, <laughs> I had to calm down. In the time, I learned really to uh, be quiet, at least my, uh, at 
experience to this show. Uh, I'm not always uh, able to control it when I can run. So I present myself in life, I, I think I love it. I know that I can dream that didn't come true. Uh, quite few. Everything that happens in my life, it is not always what I wanted, but it is always that it's happening for the best. And uh, I believe on the end, I'm just going to be happy that I had the opportunity to live this life. Thank you.